Hi, I'm Rita Moreno. Welcome to the Best of the Electric Company. In 1971, I became part of an amazing challenge made by the U.S. Department of Education to the creators of Sesame Street. Could they teach kids to read with a television show? Boy, oh boy, did they ever. Using comedy, music, and animation, the electric company made reading fun and cool. I was part of this extraordinary effort along with an incredible cast, Morgan Freeman, Bill Cosby, Irene Cara, to name a few. Boy, it's hard to believe it's been 35 years since our first episode aired. So, let's take a trip back to October 25, 1971, as we present the very first episode of The Electric Company. How's it going? Say, my man, let's have some skin. How you feeling? Give me five. Ain't it great to be alive? Hey, get pasta. Hey, what's new? How's the world been treating you? Well, well. What's the story? So what's up? Well, what do you know? Howdy. Hi there. Say, what's cooking? Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello. Must be some kind of theater. Oh, there's a G. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. And an O G O G O go and a B G O B G ob gob gob got that G A B G ab gab gab hello A but a B b g bag yeah got that and A's going in I B I G B I G big big and g i g g gig 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 giggle 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 get you get you hey how do you like my new giggles you mean goggles no no that's what someone does for a sore throat goggles with mouthwash you mean gargles? No. That's what the water in the tub does. It gargles down the drain. No, you mean gurgles. <laughs> no. Gurgles are what we wear to look thinner. Frankly, my gurgle is killing me. You mean girdle. No. A girdle is a thing you cook flapjacks on. And girdle cakes. No, you mean griddle. No. A griddle is a tricky question with a funny answer, like what has four eyes and sings through its nose. I know a lot of griddles. No, you mean riddle. No, that's what a worm does. It riddles off the hook. You mean wriggle. No, that's when you act silly and can't stop laughing. You have the wriggles. 
No, you mean giggle. Oh, well, for goodness sake, that's what I said. How do you like my new giggles? Oh, they're terrific. I got myself a pair here. Oh. Fargo North, decoder. Messages decoded while you wait. Why, yes, I am the world's most famous decoder of messages in the world. <laughs> Thank you. What? You received a mysterious message. You want me to decode it. <laughs> Can I decode it fast? Read the sign. You see? Yes, drive right over here, right away. It might be a matter of life and death. And hurry! The meaning of your message well, aren't you going to read it first? Read it, nothing. I'll tell you what it means. First, I'll put it on the optospectometer there and enlarge it. Ooh. Well, it's a very mysterious message. Just as I thought. What? This is a very mysterious message. Well, that's what I said. I said that. Let's just figure it out here. Us. Oh, as Ert. Yeah. Mm. Well, look, is this going to take long? Because I left the motor running in my car. Oh, not long at all. No, sir. I already know who the message is for, you see. Well, I know that. It's for me. No, 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 no. It's for you and me. What do you mean? Well, it's addressed to us. Us, you see. Us. Well, but that doesn't make sense. I'll be the judge of that. Wait a minute. All right. It doesn't make any sense. That's what I said. There seems to be something missing here. There, Perhaps there's a letter missing. A letter missing from every word. Look, look, can you speed this up, please? What's the hurry? Well, my wife's typewriter is broken, and I've got to get it fixed before the shop closes. Typewriter broken, you say? Yeah, there's a letter missing. Uh, letter missing in the typewriter? Letter yeah. missing in the message? Where did you find this message? In the typewriter. Thought I had something there for a yeah. minute. Well, look, if this is going to take long, I can turn the motor off in my car. Never fear, sir. Fargo is here. Now, all we have to do is figure out what the missing letter is, you see. Now, usually in cases like this, messages of this sort are sent to someone from someone in most cases, not always, but yeah. usually. Now, let's see. Suppose the missing letter were a B. I'll just set it for a B, and we'll see how it comes up. There we are. Bus, Bo, Bet, Bass, Bert. I think we're onto something here, Bus. Are you married to a Bert? Uh, I'm not a Bus. See, I'm a Gus, and my wife's name is Gert. So... I think we're onto something here, Gus. What? You see, perhaps the missing letter is G. I'll just, I'll just change it to a G. You see, both Gert, Gus and Gert stand, begin with G. Yeah. So now let's read it. We'll add the G sound. Gus, go get gas. Gert, there you are, sir. The mystery is solved. Your wife merely wants you to go get some gas. Of course, that's it. The tank was almost empty. Boy, that's a smart machine. Machine, machine. Uh, I figured that out myself. Well, you're smart, too. And I want to thank you, Mr. North. I'll see you later. Oh, call me Fargo. All right. Anytime. Drive carefully, sir. We waited too long. Why? What's the matter? Got no gas. Well, there's only one thing to do. What's that? Go get bus. Get, 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 it, 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 it. Two, 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 two. Together, 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 together. Get it. Together, get it. Together, get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. G. J. Yeah. Well, well, now let's see if I understand this here. The young fella is saying that the letter on his balloon sounds like G. Is that right? Okay. And the young lady is saying that the letter on her balloon, which is the same letter as you can noticeably see, sounds like J. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a contest to see who's right by saying words with the same letter, you see. Okay, in this corner now, holding the pink balloon, it's J. And in this corner, holding the blue balloon, is G. All right, now, kids, when you hear the bell, this is come out fighting. G. 
gum. Jim! Gag. Giant. Game. Gee, my name is Gladys and my husband's name is Gary. We come from Galveston and we sell garlic. Game. Agent. Target. Magic. The magazine for regular guys. Genuine large oranges. Sounds like g, as in go, or the last sound in dog. Maybe so, but it's j when in danger. And what's even stranger? In garbage, it's both. both. Yes, yes, I know. I yeah, you knew that too. Uh, 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 well, it looks like the contest is a draw. Uh-huh. Now, unless I miss my guess, this here phone ringing is J. Arthur Crank calling, our good friend. Hello? Hello, Crank calling. I thought I'd be hearing from you. You've been watching, ain't you? Of course I've been watching. Well, how do you like it so far? So far, no good. Oh, really? Well, uh, what's bothering you? You're darn right what's bothering me. Now, listen. When you say the G sounds like G, as yeah. in go and gum and like that, yeah. okay, I'll go along with you. You will. But when you start with that just stuff, like in Giant and Magic, well, who do you think you're kidding? That ought to be J. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but that's wrong. Wrong? Wrong! Listen, this is J. Arthur Crank speaking. I don't believe it being wrong. They got plenty other people for that. Yeah. Okay, Crank, now look, see, most of the time when you see the letter G, it sounds like G. Game, gas, get, gum. I got that, I got it. Right, but sometimes, sometimes, it sounds like J, as in giant, as in magic. Why? Why? Yeah, why does G have to have two sounds when you already got a perfectly good J for the just sound? Well, don't ask me. That's just the way it is. Now, now, do you understand? Of course I understand. I'm no dummy. Go for go and jump for giant. There are two sounds in G. And listen, when he comes in, 
Tell him I got it. Who? The guy in charge of G. I ordered two guys. Yeah, you probably got uh, Gary and uh, George. You get it? Gary's in charge of G, and George is in charge of G. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gary and yeah. George, George and Gary. Yeah. What a sense of humor. Right. All right, Crank. Mine I'm going like to say goodbye sweat. to you. Bye. Honey, boy. A glamorous glowworm named Gladys would glitter and glimmer and gleam. But while she would glisten, she'd often say, Listen, this glowing ain't all like it seem. The truth is that Gladys was gloomy. I'm gloomy? She glumly would moan. She sighed. How I'd go for somebody to glow for. I'm tired of glowing alone. Some night she would just glare and glower and say, Gladys, girl, time to retire. Her voice would then trail off. I glitters my tail off, but nobody's lighting my fire. Then suddenly Gladys met Glendon, and she gladly said, Gloom, go get gone. For with only one glance, Gladys glowed with romance. Yeah, that Glen baby sure turns me on. Now Gladys is glowing for Glendon, like the stars that are gleaming above. And while she cries, Glory! The point of this story is nobody glows without love. Of chair. Can a boy from a small chair in a big room find happiness as a shortstop in the long run? As our story begins, the boy is sitting. See the boy sitting. Boy, is he sitting. The boy is getting sick of sitting. Will the boy remain seated? Will he stand up? Will he fall asleep? Will you fall asleep? And what about Naomi? For the answer to these and other questions... What time is it? Tune in tomorrow for... Love of chair. I am going over there. I am going over there. I am going over there. <laughs> A period is just a little dot, but it occupies a very special spot. 
If you should see a period, my friend, uh, then you know a sentence just came to an end. Jan Stock, oh, go, oh, baby. The boy is sitting. Punctuation. Punk, 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 punk. Punctuation. They are the little marks that give their influence. Half a sentence makes more sense. Now an exclamation point is saying, pow! Yes, sir, I don't mean maybe, boy, and how. When you see it there, it means you ought to say that sentence in a most emphatic way. I see, sí, porque el emphasis es muy importante, mija. Agua! The boy is sitting. Question mark is always there to show that there's something that somebody wants to know. It's as if a sentence tries to say to you, I don't know the answer, but perhaps you do. Hey, tell me now. Dance your little lovely. Woo. Is the boy sitting? <laughs> sign that says, hey, wait, just a second, hold the line. When you see a comma mostly, it will mean there are words you ought to take a breath between, porque si no, olvídate, mira. The boy who is sitting is asleep. If you want to be a reading sensation, you got to know your punctuation. Who is it? It's the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. It's the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. Who is it? It's the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. Who is it? It's the plumber. I've come to fix the sink. <laughs> Ooh. Dark presents and leave the driving to Gus. It won't go, Gert. Did you get gas, Gus? I got gas, Gert. I don't get it. If you got gas, why won't it go? I give up. Gun the motor again, Gus. There it goes, Gert. G 
good going, Gus. Hey, Stanley! Oh, yes, Stanley. Hi. Hi. Listen, have you been feeling? I missed you a lot. Fine, thanks. Great. I'm happy to hear it. And I want you to lay some words on me. So what's been happening? Giggles been happening. Glows and glimmer. Ooh, all the good sounds. How about some good je? Gary, George, Giant, je Oh, save your strength, Stanley, because here comes Easy Reader. Ah, top to bottom and left to right. Reading stuff is out of sight. What's happening, Carmel Lee? Ah. Well, I have been talking to Stanley. And what I'm needing is something for reading. Stanley, baby! Sock it too, old easy. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, he's resting. He was laying a lot of words on me, so he'll be with him one minute. That, that, okay? That's cool. That's okay. cool. All right. Carmella, you got any matches on you? Yes, I happen to... Wait a minute. Hmm? You don't smoke. Well, yeah, I know, but uh, when I itches, I scratches. And when I'm bored... I read matches. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Close cover before striking. I say, is that heavy? <laughs> is that heavy? <laughs> Easy. Huh? They named you right. Are you single, huh? <laughs> Easy reader, that's my name. Uh, uh, uh. Reading, reading, that's my game. Uh, uh, uh. Is out of sight. Ah. Easy reader, that's my name. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, look, Stanley's writing. Gus got gas and the guy got gun. We saw a big gymnasium. Groovy Stanley. Ah. Do one for Carmela now. Yeah. We saw a magic giant grow. Ow. And Gladys giggled. Ooh, let me go. <laughs> Are you ready? Go, baby. All right. The boy was sitting on the chair. And he'll just go on sitting there. Ha! I groove on all the words around. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. As long as they are written down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Reading's heavy, reading's tough. Tell him, Carmel. He never seems to uh, get enough. Ha, ha! Easy reader, that's my name. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a reading man, and it's words I see. Every word I see, I just gotta speak. And now, the last word. Garbage. The Electric Company gets its power from the Children's Television Workshop. In its first season, nearly 25% of elementary schools in the U.S. tuned into the show.
The next episode is the 10th from the first season. Listen for the familiar voice of Mel Brooks, the continuing saga, Love of Chair, and a call from J. Arthur Crank. Little girl. Little girl. Cotton candy can cause cavities. Maybe you will want to play a game of checkers or something like that. Well, later, see, I gotta finish this letter first. Oh. Sure must be some important letter. Yes, this is a very important letter. There, that does it. This letter is complete. Oh, could I read it? Sure. Oh, oh it's a C. It's very beautiful. Yeah. Guess I sure can turn out a beautiful letter if I put my mind to it. You certainly could. Scent. Candy. Candy. Say my name is Candy and my husband's name is Carl. Carl. 
Candy. Cider. Pick Nick. Slice. Faucet. Electric Company. Reducing exercises. All right, girls, we will now attempt to touch our toes. Bend, stretch, touch your toes. Bend, stretch, touch those toes. Reducing exercises? Sin. Sin, sin. Sin, sin, natty. Sin, sin, natty. You were right. It's pronounced s. But you were right, too. It's also pronounced k. We were both right. Sometimes it's k and sometimes it's s. Right. Now, let's think of some more words that have it uh, the two ways, two different ways. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, here's one. Circle. Circle is right. And then there's uh, concert. Good. 
and uh, cancel. Very That's it. Good. Let's cancel the concert because of rain. Cancel, cancel the, the concert. concert. Very good. Well, listen, how about using some words that uh, go together with C and that are used in two different ways? Go ahead. All right. Um, your turn. Community center. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, mine is cold cereal. I'll get uh, a goodie. Okay, you your ready? Turn. My turn? Yeah. Ice cream. Oh, I'd love some. Of course. <laughs> Clever. Clapping, toe tapping, finger snapping, make it happen sounds. New sounds, blue sounds, how they do sounds. I got old sounds, soul sounds, and jelly roll sounds. Sounds that are righteous, righteous, and out of sight. And right now, folks, the biggest thing on the charts, the hit tune that sounds like now, now that now. sounds like wow, wow. wow. that sounds like. Ow! Here is the short circus with I'm just a clown who's feeling down. Another of those messages, you lucky man. Read carefully. Duh. Tracy. You mean Dick. 
No, that's what you used to play gin rummy, a dick of cards. No, you mean dick. No, you nick. That's what you say after hickory dickory. Now that's dark. Oh, uh, no, but that's what we better do right now. You mean dick. Hey, I'm starved. Let's stop for a snack, huh? You mean snack? No, that's what smoke comes out of a smoke snack. No, you mean stiff. No, that's what if you sit on it, you get up very fast. Oh, you mean tack. Oh, that's what a train runs on, a railroad tack. No, you mean track. Oh, that's a smart remark. You know, a uh, wise track. You <laughs> mean crap? You may be right. Cracker Jack. Open and shut. If it's there, you say cute. If it isn't, say cut. If it's there, you say cube. If it isn't, say cub. If it's there, you say tube. If it isn't, say tub. If it's there, you say dude. If it isn't, say dud. If it's there, you say crude. If it isn't, say crud. Someone thinks I'm cute. Uh, how about very? Ah, oh, I am cute, very. Who's the dummy writing this show? Now, let's move that very around a little bit and get it right. I very am cute. That's it. That's wrong. I very am cute. The proper way to say it is I am very cute. Boy, to get a compliment around here, you really have to work for it. Happy. Unhappy. Certain. Uncertain. Afraid. Unafraid. Comfortable. Uncomfortable. Conscious. Unconscious. Hi, bye. Isn't it 
it a beautiful day? Mm-hmm. If you like beautiful days. Hey, what's the matter? You're not yourself today. Something happened? Nah, nothing. It's just another old day, same as every other day. Oh, boy, you're in some mood, huh? Well, I guess I just got me a bad case of the everydays. What's that? Oh, well, you know, that's when every day is the same as every other old day. I mean, after Monday comes Tuesday. And then after Tuesday, here comes old Wednesday dragging itself in. Then after Wednesday, here comes... Comes Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. So what else is new? Well, now, you see, when I look at all this Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday stuff, it seems to me I could use myself... And on day. <laughs> An on day? What's that? Well, now that's a day when all you do is nothing. I mean, just a whole mess of just plain nothing. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. Hey, come to think of it, I can use an unday once in a while. Listen, Vi, today is not my unday, so I gotta get going. See you later. Okay, sugar. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, that would be beautiful. An unday. Now, the first thing in the morning. I would unget out of bed And after I had ungot up enough I would keep myself unbusy And spend the day instead Just on working on a lot of different stuff I don't think about my troubles while unpaying all my bills And for moving I'd be very uninclined I'd ungo a lot of places And unclimb a lot of hills And I sure would be unweary in my mind Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ooh, yeah, I'd smile If I only had an unday One once in a Find happiness as a halfback on the front porch. As our story begins, the boy is sitting. The boy is thinking. The boy is thinking about a girl. The girl is sitting. Will the boy stop thinking? Can he forget the girl? Will she forget him? Can we forget them both? And what about Naomi? For the answer to these and other questions... What time is it? Tune in tomorrow for... 
love of chair. Santa Claus. Well. Clarence, Clarence thought his parents certainly were nice for giving him a name like that, not only once, but twice. <laughs> Listen, I got something to say on that subject. Great. What subject? Well, you was talking about names, right? You was going on there? Oh, yeah. Santa Claus, Name. Clarence, Clarence. So you know what I did? Clarence what? Clarence, Clarence. Clarence. I know, I remember. Where do you hear this? I wrote a poem about it. Oh, that's really good. About Frank. names. You're going to love this. Yeah. Listen to this now. I'm going to hear it now? The whole thing. We're all going to hear this poem that Crank wrote, yeah. A name is a thing that all of us got. If I wasn't called Crank, you'd be calling me what? And now, the last word. Crackpot! its power from the Children's Television Workshop. President Richard Nixon directed the U.S. to improve its literacy rate and declared the 1970s the right to read decade. Letter T gets a workout coming up next, especially in my show-stopping number. I'm in love with a giant.
Will you get a load of this? Look what we've got here. A real t. And there's an an. Well, if we put all those together, I think we've really got something. Hey, Max, are you there today? Hey, ready, old Max. Hey, listen, would you do me a favor? Because my back sort of hurts. If you would take that an and move it over to the t, the t, I think we have a word there. Yeah, just that right there. So now we have t, a, eh, hmm, and that's a word, tan. Let's see now. Uh, yeah, you, you want to take the... No way, he's going to bring back a surprise. Let's see. Oh, he brought us up. So now we've got... Ah. Tap. Oh, that was a good one. Now let me do one. No, wait a minute. Let me... No, no, no. Take away, yeah, the middle one. Take away the A. And would you bring back a, a, an O? Do you have an O? O. Okay, so that now is t a p. That's the top. That's is fun. Okay, now you you can you could just do whatever you want. Okay, yeah, you could. Let's see. He's taking the p away and bringing a t. So now we have t a t tot. Like a, a baby. That's a little child. Is a is a tot or a tiny tot. Hey, could we have a do you have a tiny tot over there? Could you yeah, a little littler one. Littler 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 bite. Yeah, let's see what what is oh that's cute. Now that's that's a tiny tot. That's, that's, yeah, that's what? He's taking it away again. Where are you going with that? Oh, look at this. There's a tinier tot. Hi there, tiny tot. How are you? What? What? He's got a whole bag of tricks up his sleeve today. Oh, is that cute? Now that's really a tiny tot. Hey, tiny tot. How are you? Oh, don't take him away. That was cute. Another one. Another one. Where? Where? I, I don't see anything, Max. Max, where is he? Or she? I think we have a missing tot on our hands. Art. T. Art. T. Art. Tot. Tot. Sergeant, have you seen my missing tot? Oh, calm down, lady. Oh, calm I down. I'll now, try to calm down. What is, what is this about a missing my tot? My tiny tot is missing. Have, have you seen him? Do you have a description of him? A give description? Us some kind of... Well, I, I have a nice picture of him. Oh, oh that yeah. is a nice picture. That was taken last Thanksgiving. Oh, very handsome tees, eh? Well, all us tuttles have nice tees, but have you seen him anywhere? Well, all we can do is check the missing file. Oh, you have a missing file? Oh, you okay. Just sit tight there and we'll okay. see what we come up with. Uh, uh -huh. How's that? No, no, that's that's t a hmm. That's tan. That's that's just a tiny bit like my tot, but that's not my it's tot. Not tot. Hmm? Well. Uh, here we go. Uh, How's that? No, no. See, no. That's t a p. That's tap. That's not tot. It's not my tot. Tap. It's not tot. Okay. Well, that's oh, uh, here. I think we've got something here. What? Ta. That's t a p. Top. That's a lot like him, but nope. that's not him. They could be brothers. Yeah, they could. He right. doesn't have a brother. It's not it, huh? No. Well, I thought sure we had something. You don't have any more pictures? Well, I'm afraid that's it, lady. Well, Sarge, we found this little character hanging around around Maine and Elm. He almost got hit by a truck. Well, well. My Todd! Oh, don't cry. You know, he's even better looking than his picture. Together. 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 Get, 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 it, 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 two, 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 two. 
together, 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 get it, together, get it, together, get it, together, get it, together, get it together, get it together. This is t a p t a p. So it's top t a p. There's a t is t and the o is a and the p is p. So that's t o p t a p. So now I read that off for you real good. T a p. And that's it. That's the end of my lesson. What? Pot. Huh? Pot. What is pot? It's pot. What? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, it okay, was okay. The All right. Then it's p a t pot. Now that's what it is. It's pot. I might have made a mistake in the beginning, but I said p a t. So it's pot. Now that's the word. I may, I'm, I may have made a mistake in the beginning, but everything is cool now. It's no, it is. No, it's not. It's top. It's top. Well, it was top all the time. No, it was. Not top. It was okay, top, so. Top. Okay, so now it's t a p top. That's what it is. Top, just like I said the first time. T a p top. Now, am I good or not? You're good. Give me five. Give me thirty-six. Give me twelve. Thank you. Ha. Hat. When are they going to deliver my top hat? Oh, uh, I got a package here for a man named Jason. You Jason? I am Jason. Okay, you want to sign here, please. Oh, my top hat. Oh. My top hat. This is a top hat? This is not, I repeat, not a top hat. Oh, you're right about that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a pot top. That means I must have delivered your package to... Lady, you gave me the wrong package. I certainly did. This is a top hat. My top hat. Well, that must be my pot top. It uh, is. That's your pot uh, top, uh, all right. Uh, putting on my top hat. Uh, soup's on. <laughs> Tessie doll is the only doll, I repeat, the only doll who can actually read. But don't take my word for it. Watch for yourselves. Trip! Trap! True! Trash! Well, there it is, folks. Trash. Uh, uh, Trash. Uh, one thing more, folks. Trash. With every talkie tessie doll, batteries Trash. are. Oh, batteries are included. Just call me true. Blah, 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 blah. Just plain old trouble blue
you awake? No, I'm not. Well, I wish you were, because I'm seeing things. All right. What things? Shadows. Shadows? Yeah. Over there on the wall. Oh, sure. Oop. Oh. A ship. Now it's a, a shark. Oh, no. I think it's sheep. Ah. A shovel? Or is it a shirt? Oh. It's, it's, it's all. Uh, who are you? Why, it's a shy shortstop. Uh, what are you doing here? We got rained out. Shadow. Mm hmm. Mm, ark, bubble, eep, ip, ert, ache. That doesn't make sense. Shh. Shh. Yeah, that's it. Shh. Yeah. Shark. Shovel. Sheep. <laughs> Ship. <laughs> Shirt. Shake. Yeah, that's it. Shake. Thank you. Yes. Ooh. Tar. Tar. Sent the farmer to his partner. Park the car, park the car. Carmen's waiting at the party in the bar, in the bar. Oh, my mind is far from farming when I'm arm and arm with Carmen. Park it, Charlie, I'm a heading for the Farley Farmer's Bar. Milk Bar, that is.
thin. Wet. Fat, thin. I'm in love with a different sort of guy. But in my book, he rates extremely high. As far as I'm concerned, he's just one of the best. Because he's standing head and shoulders over all the rest. He's very tall, I'm very short. His fingers are fat, mine are thin. Small. I'm in love, I'm in love with a giant His chair is high, my chair is low His toothbrush is heavy, mine is light His hat is hard, my hat is soft I'm in love, I'm in love with a giant Sometimes folks laugh and then I sigh Cause it's so hard to tell the reasons why I'm in love, I'm in love with a giant To be in love with a giant who's in love with me Is a very, very funny thing to be I'm home, dear Big, little Big Little Big Little Ah, uh, <clears throat> I will not. Yes, you will. I will not. Yes, you will. I won't. 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 You will. I will. No, you won't. I can't. Hmm. I won't. Ah, oh, I couldn't. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh. 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 <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> what is that? It is a bird. It isn't a bird. Is. Isn't. Is. Isn't. I guess it is. Theater in the Dark presents No Can Do. I can't. You can. I can't. You can. I can. You can. I can. I can. I can. You can. 
But I wish you wouldn't. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. We don't take empties here. No, There's a little no, deli no, about a block please, down. Please, I have to talk to you, Mr. North. Well, some other time. I'm a busy man. I got a lot of work to do. No, Mr. North, please, just give me a little... Good minute. heavens, look at the time. I'm going to be late for work. Then you are Fargo North. The famous decoder? Yes. Depends on what your problem is. Oh, my problem. You see, I was stranded on an island in the middle of the ocean for a year. I thought you were dressed a little casually there. Well, anyway, I got these messages in all these bottles, and I can't read them because they uh -huh. rushed away. There's only little bits of a message so on So you it. brought them to me to figure out the messages, right? Oh, you're so smart. Yeah. Yes. Well, this calls for my word separator. Yes. Word separator! What are you doing? Calling for my word separator. <laughs> A little that humor it? there. Is That's it, machine? of course. We'll just place them carefully in there and turn it on. Here they come. What is that? Words. Words. Yes. An island. Oh, that, 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 those are some of the words. Yeah. There's another one. Help. Yeah, here comes another long one. What a terrific machine you have. I am stuck. There's a short one. Uh-huh. On. I think that's all. There. An island help. I am stuck. On. Yeah. Now, it's just possible that someone was sending you the same message over and over instead that of lots of be. different messages. Maybe. Let's see if we can make a sentence out of it, shall we? Well, you know what? A sentence always begins with a capital. Please, do you mind if I do the work around here? Now, as I was saying, the first word of a sentence always begins with a capital letter, you oh, see. Just... So this is probably it, the help. Help. That has a capital letter. Right. Help. Help. Somebody needs help, quick. Yeah. Help. Help an island. Help oh. on. Help, I am stuck. Help. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's we, try we that. Help, it. I am it. stuck. Help, I am stuck. I am stuck where? In traffic. Where? In a snowdrift. Yeah. In, 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 maybe it's not in. We have an there, on here. Perhaps it's no on. Yeah. Let's see. Help, I am stuck on. What would someone be stuck, stuck on? on. Hmm. Oh, I was once stuck on a guy named Marvin. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he had blue eyes and the longest yeah. eyelashes. And Never he mind all that. We've almost got oh, it right, here. Now, the there. last word of a sentence okay. always has a period after it. Yeah. There's one there. This is probably it. Help, I am stuck on an Island. Oh, no, no, that's terrible. What's terrible? Well, I was one stuck on an island. I know that's, that person's in trouble. Did you receive, did you send any messages? Did I send any messages? In bottles? I, in those, did, did they come back to me? Don't Nobody you ever... see? These are your messages that came back to you in the bottles. I thought that writing looked familiar. Yes, now if you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to catch up on here. Oh, Mr. North, Mr. North, is there any way I can repay you? Well, call me Fargo. Fargo, There anything. is something you could do. What? Uh, take these bottles. There's a little deli right down the block. Love of chair. Can a boy from a small chair in a big room find happiness as the first mate on the last boat? As our story begins, the boy is sitting. The boy is starting to stand. See the boy starting. Watch him stop. Will the boy stop starting? Can he start stopping? Will he go shopping? And what about Naomi? For the answer to these and other questions... Anything on TV? Tune in tomorrow for... Love of Chair. And now, the last word. Time. The electric company gets its power from the Children's Television Workshop.
The Electric Company won an Emmy for Best Children's Programming and a Grammy for Best Recording for Children. Coming up, Bill Cosby in a dual role playing both the C and the H in the CH sound. Yours. Okay. And oh, can I go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's your here idea. We, here we go. D. D. Okay. E. D. E. D. All right. How about that? Mm. Mm. D. E. N. Den. Den. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got something here. Okie doke. E. D. E. N. Den. Mm-hmm. Got a better one. No. Yep, watch this. No. D. D. I. D. Did. Did. Oh, oh. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, then. How about that? Eh. Hmm. D. Eh. D. Dad. Well, that's it. I win. What do you mean you win? Watch this. D. E. Oh. D. A. D. E. Daddy. Oh, it's Daddy. Yeah, it's Daddy. Oh, no, in there. oh, oh it's, it's Daddy. Daddy. Hide the cards. Under the bed. Under okay. The bed. It's Daddy. Oh. That's right. It's Daddy, and it's bedtime. Oh, good night. <laughs> my bed. Thanks, mister. Right on. Dee, dee, dee. Dee, dee. No, I'm, I'm building a dog house for my new dog. How, oh. How's it look? Oh, it's fine. It's a beautiful house. Oh, uh, uh, one thing's wrong, though. Uh, this, this sign, yeah. it, it says uh, dig. D-I-G. Dig. It doesn't say dog. No. Well, I mean, if you wanted to say dog, you've got to make one minor repair. Oh? Yeah, like you've got to take out the I sound, right, and put in an aw sound, and then there you've got it. D-O-G. Dog. Oh, yeah, I see that. I, I see that as plain as day. Dog. Right. Dog, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I understand that. But, you see, I don't want it to say dog. I want it to say dig. D-ig. You understand? I understand, but it's a dog house. Yeah, I know it's a dog house. <laughs> but that sign says dig. Well, yeah, that's my dog's name. Dig. <whistles> dig. Here, boy. <whistles> Wait a minute. If that's your dog's name, then how come this name doesn't begin with a capital letter? All names begin with a capital, right? And that is a small D. Ha ha. It's a small dog. Dig. Hmm. Ha ha. <laughs> dog. Pardon me, uh... Uh, I, hello. 
Part, I was, I, I'm over here. I'm over here, right here. Uh, I was told to come and have an eye examination. Are you the eye doctor? Yeah. It, actually, my eyes are in perfect health. They haven't been sick a day in their lives. Bless them. I can see for miles, you know. But that's only on a clear day. Uh, oh, you want me to cover my eyes and see the chart? Okie doke. First word. D, I, B, Dib. That's a funny word. Okay, next word. I'll cover the other eye. <clears throat> D, A, B, Dab. Oh, boy, that's also a funny word. Now I cover both eyes, right? And I can't see a thing without... That's better. The last word is d, a, b, dub. Now those are funny words. Dib, dab, dub. I mean, who talks that way? Dib, dab, dub. That's dumb. That's dumb. I mean, dib, dab, dub. No, who talks that way? Nobody, right, Doc? A dib, dab, 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 dib, dab, dab, dub, dub, dub. On the other hand, dib, dab, dib, dib, dab, 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 dub, dub, dib. Well, I never looked at it that way, I suppose so. D, E, N, DIN. E, N, D, END. What are you doing? I'm trying to bend this. Can't you read? Well, I think I can. But... Eld. Beld? That word is beld, not bend. I'm so embarrassed. But if you change this L uh -oh. to an N... I wouldn't touch that. No. Ah, you see, you've got bend. See that? Bend. Something wrong? How do you spell straighten? Yes, sir. This is Lend a Hand. We help people. Whatever your problem, we always lend a hand. Every time you see our Lend a Hand sign here, you can be sure that you'll be in good hands. When we say Lend a Hand, we mean it. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, Hi. am I glad you're still open. Look, my car is stuck on a hill and I really need a push. Do you think you could lend a hand? Lend a hand? Yeah, could you? Why, surely. Will that be a purchase or a rental, credit or cash? Eyeball. Dr, 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 dr. Dr, eyeball. Dribble. Dribble, 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 dribble. All right, Timpkins, let's get on with it. Right, D.R. Now, I hope your ideas for the television commercials are better than last year. Oh, don't worry, D.R. These commercials are going to make Dribble Cola the most popular drink in America. They're out of this world. Yeah, well, they better be, or you're going to be out of a job. Yes, sir. Now, Wait. get on with it. Okay, listen to this. Yeah? Don't be a drag. Drink Dribble Cola kind of gets you right in the heart, doesn't it, Dr? Don't be a drag. Drink Dribble Cola. And I think I, it's terrific. What and do you I think? I think that this is a drag. I think you're right. Well, what else you got? Move it. Oh, wait till you see this one, Dr. You'll throw your hat in the air. Yeah. Well, it better be good, or I'll throw your hat in the air, and you'll be in the hat. <laughs> okay. All right. Feeling drab. Drink Dribble Cola. Come on, Timpkins. That's dumb. No. Drinking Dribble Cola doesn't prevent drab. Now, let's have a little truth in advertising around here. What else you got? Oh, wait till you see this one. It, it, it's a blockbuster. Yeah, well, I can use it. I haven't had my blockbuster since Tuesday. Now, what else you got? Here, feeling dry? Drink Dribble Cola. The drink, drink drinkers drink. Huh? Awful. That's awful! They're all awful. They're terrible. They are the worst I've ever seen in my life. But, but what do you really think, Dean? I think that I can write better, better commercials than that. Give me, you got a bottle of yes, that, sir. uh, there's a dribble cola. Now, all you got to do is just think a little bit. You say to the folks, drink dribble cola. It's dreadful. It's dreary. And it's droopy. What are they putting that stuff? Drench.
drench. Drench. Chop. Chip. Chap. Chat. Chew. Chow. Cheese. Choose. Chair. Chain. Charm. Child. Children. Cheat. Juggle. No, harp, harp. Choke. Jump. Chicken. Chipmunk. Chimpanzee. Chattanooga Choo Choo. Charlie. Cheer. Champ.
Sara Shishi. I have come to learn from you the mystical secrets of life. Oh. Yeah, I have come to learn the magic of existence. Oh. Uh huh. And I also want to learn how to stop hitting my little sister. Oh. Oh. Can I get you a glass of water or something? No, my son. I was merely meditating upon the four basic ox of life. Whosoever knows the four basic ox knows life. Wow. Come, let us look to the sacred ox chart. Is it not Ooh. inspiring? Well, I guess so. And you would be right. First, the most important ox of all is the... Ch ...ock, ock, chalk. The chalk ox is the most important of all. Why is that? You need the chalk to write down the other three. Oh, I see. And the second orc is your talk orc. The talk talk orc is important too, huh? You said it. You have to talk to ask me a question. I get it. Yeah. Now the third orc, the basic walk orc. Walk. The walk orc. How is that one important? How did you get here? I walked. Ah. You see, you are already growing in knowledge, my son. Yeah. And what is the fourth and final orc? The greatest talk of all. It is the answer to everything. Oh. And it is. Stalk orc. Your stalk, as in beanstalk. Bean, beanstalk? What has that got to do with anything? Ah, everything. You see, my son, life is a beanstalk. What? A, a be life is a, a beanstalk? Do you know that I gave up my job, all my, all my friends, uh, spent all my money? I have just walked and crawled 5,000 miles to get here, and you sit there like and, and tell me life is a, a beanstalk? Life is not. A beanstalk? How about life as a tomato plant? A cucumber? An avocado? I know. Life is a radish. A plum. What is the hardest thing about learning to roller skate? All right, I'll bite. What is the hardest thing about learning to roller skate? Oh, get it? The sidewalk. The sidewalk's the hardest thing about learning to roller skate, because if you learn to roller skate... Charlie Chuckles, theatrical agent from A to B. What can I do for you? Hello? I am Hello. standing right next Hello. to you, Mr. Chuckles. Oh. I am your secretary. Do you remember me? Yes, I I'm just forgot for a moment. How are you, Miss oh. Simpson? You also forgot to pay me last month. Well, don't be greedy, Miss Simpson. What can I do for you, dear? There is a gentleman here to see you. See me? Oh, a gentleman? Sure, sure. Okay. Send him in. Come right in. Thanks, Shelley. It's me, Georgie the Giant. <laughs> How you been? 
Uh, yeah, I'm fine, fine. You're a little small to be a giant, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, when I was a kid, I had smallpox. I see. Well, that's terrific. Well, uh, anyway, uh, what, what, what can we do for you? What can old Charlie Chuckles from A to B do for you, Ken? Well, well Charlie, I've been having trouble getting work having lately. Trouble. There don't seem to be many jobs left in show business no. for us giants, you yeah. know? Well... Ah, uh, Charlie Chuckles, you come to Charlie Chuckles, I can do the job for you. Now, exactly what you tell me in just a small amount of words, what do you do? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked. You see, I come on stage. Come on stage. Yeah, and I say, fed, fed, fod, and like that. That's it, that's uh -huh. what you say, that's, that's it? Well, pr pretty much, yeah. Oh, oh, sometimes I wave this thing around, you know? Uh, I get a pretty good reaction to it when I'm playing clubs. But mostly it's just the uh, fed, fed, fod thing. Okay, well, we're trying to help out somewhere. So you come on stage and you say, Fed. Yeah. You say, Fed. Then you come on and you're there and you say, Fed. Yeah. And then you come on again and you say, Five. Fed, Fed, Five. That's just what I say. Only, you know, people don't seem to be scared when I say it anymore. Well, well, of course not. If you got Fed, Fed, Five, and a giant saying that, and a small giant at that, well, you don't get too much of a reaction all of it. So I think what we better do is uh, maybe take a few letters off and do some, make different sounds out of it. How you gonna well, do that? Well, you got this. This is Fed. But well, let's take the D off. We take the D off of Fed, and what do we have? B. B. All right, now B. we got Fed. Fed. Right, take the D off of Fed, and what do we have? Five. Yes. B, five, I love it uh, so far. Yeah, and you got five. Yeah, five. That's not too scary. Not no, too scary. No. Take the D off. And what do we have? Wow, we got fo. Now try it. B five fo. Hey, say, it's say not it, bad. It, That's say, not say. bad. B five fo. Now we B, need five, we need a, we need to put a clincher on there. Yeah. A strong clincher. Yeah. Now we'll take a chance. B five fo fiddlesticks. B five fo fiddlesticks. No, 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 no fiddlesticks huh? ain't gonna no? do it. No fiddlesticks. Let's try this. It's this. It's a, it's just a shot. But try this. Boom. See that? Bum. Bum. Huh? Bum. Try. Put them together. Okay, I'll try. There we go. B, five, fo, bum. Come on now. Hey, that's it, pretty good. Feeling, yeah. feeling okay. Good. Use the stick. Okay. B, five, fo, bum. Oh, my God. Dynamite. Listen, I love it. Listen, listen. Yeah. I got a terrific idea. What? Here's what we'll do. I'll put you with this kid. Now, I know him very well. His name's Jack. He's got a beanstalk. I usually here. work alone. Well, that's all right. He's got a beanstalk. He's also got a little duck. Lays a golden egg. And we'll put that all together and we'll call the whole thing Cinderella. Gangbusters. But will they buy it in Peoria? Here is Harry. Harry works high in the sky. He likes to go very high. Harry likes to have his lunch as high in the sky as he can climb. Here is where Harry has his lunch. I might be. Who are you? I don't have time for that. Listen, I'm in trouble. I need your help. What brings you to me? Well, I was in the neighborhood buying a horse. Now, can you make any sense of this? Let's see. Where did you get this? Well, it came with a horse. Uh-huh. Supposed to make the horse go, but it's not working. I see. Host Silver High. Very yes. strange. Let's just put this in the automatic graphicator and separate the words, shall All we? Right, put it in there. Here we go. There we go. We just place it in there. Right, get this thing fixed. There they come. The words come out here, you see. Ho, silver, high. There we are. Ho, silver, high. Makes no sense at well, all. I said it to the horse, and the horse just looked at me. Uh huh. Yeah. Perhaps the words are just not in the right order. Well, why would you say that? Well, I'll show you, masked man. All you right. see, I, the first thing I noticed was that the sentence did not begin with a capital letter. Now, we know that all sentences begin with a capital letter. So it must be one of these other words, silver or high. Now, if one of those is the first word of the sentence, 
The other one could very probably be someone's name because names also begin with capital letters. Yeah. Now, let's see whose name. Well, maybe it's the horse because the horse is supposed to go. I've got it. The message is supposed to make the horse go, right? So the horse's name is probably in the message. That's right. See. Sounds good to me. Yes, yeah, sir. What's the horse's name? Uh, what's, what's the horse's name? Rover? Spot? No, it's something shiny. 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 Silver yeah. is shiny. The yeah. horse's name is probably... Silver. Exactly. Silver. 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 Yes. That means this word, hi, is yeah. probably the first word of the sentence. It's uh -huh. the only other capital letter. Okay. You see. Yeah. So, hi, ho, silver. Now, let's just add a little punctuation. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Hi, ho, silver. Hi, ho, hi silver. Hi, ho, silver. Hi, ho, silver. No, that doesn't work. You wouldn't ask a horse a no, dumb question see, like look, that. Look, I'm in a hurry. That's it. Yeah. That must be it, yes. When you get on a horse, you're in a hurry. So you don't fun. ask him to go, you no. tell him. So get rid of that, right? We'll just put an exclamation point there instead of the question mark. Hi ho, silver! Hi ho, silver! Oh, yeah, that so sounds about better, right. Man. Well, thank you, Mr. North. Now, what Probably do I owe you? Not huh? a thing, not a no, thing. No, no, you must take something. Take this. A silver bullet. Yes, a silver bullet. <laughs> easy, big fellow, easy, big fellow. Well, adios, amigo. So long, and don't forget. Forget what? Hi, oh, Silver! <laughs> Of Chair, the drama that asks the question, can a boy from a small chair in a big room find happiness as a good guy in the bad lands? As our story begins, the boy is standing. The boy is really standing. It's hard to believe. The boy is standing. Must be some misunderstanding. Will the boy remain standing? Is standing up too hard? Can he stand it standing up? Can you stand it sitting down? And what about Naomi? For the answer to these and other questions, is this a rerun? Tune in tomorrow for... Love of Chair. And now, the last word. Champ. The electric company gets its power from the Children's Television Workshop. Milkman's helper, that's me, first yelled, Hey, you guys! in episode 19 of the first season. In the next episode, Morgan Freeman's ultra cool DJ Mel Mounds makes a call to J. Arthur Crank by mistake. Hi, babe. Beat it, bub. But Bernice... Don't bug me, Ben. 
Why the bad mouth bit? I'm a busy bee. Boy, you're bad news. Oh, buzz off, Ben. Be busy later? Maybe. I'll be by. You better be. B. U. Z. Z. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> We're gonna play charades, okay? And I'm gonna act out different people. And when you think you know what I'm acting out, then you just pull this out, huh? All the way out. And hold it up and tell me what it is. Now, if you get it right, okay. But if you get it wrong, we have to put it back and start all over. Okay, you ready? Let's see. That's what I'm going to do first. I got it. Ready? Okay. Right here. Okay. Oh, what? You're some smart people. <laughs> What is it? What does that say? Say it loud. Oh, we'll say it loud. A baseball, baseball player. That's very good. That's terrific, Allison. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, Dina. <clears throat> uh, oh, I got one. I got one. <clears throat> what guy? This guy. <laughs> say it. The bus driver. Let's see that. Let's hear it again. The bus driver. All right. Bus. Driver. You guys are too smart. Come in here, I bet you had your coffee this morning. You got everything circulating, right? Brains moving around, right? <clears throat> got your brain going, <clears throat> right? Feet and everything. Oh, there's old Quickie Dina right in there, hanging in. Okay, fine. Loud. Boxer. Trolla! Boxer. Very good. Very good. Let's see now. I bet you guys don't know what this is. Holy cats, I ain't even get a chance to start. I got a minute sweater and you don't even give me a chance to do it. Okay, go on, what is it? Oh, no, 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 no. A bullfighter. Very good, hold it up so, so everybody can see it. Not, don't cover your face. Okay, what is it? A bullfighter. Bull Great, okay. Tell you, guys are really on the ball today. <clears throat> Last one. Yeah. Okay, why don't you both take it out? Okay. Both take, take it, it out. out. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> and face, yeah. face. Then tell me. Let's hear it. Barber. Barber. Uh, who's the person behind the sign? <clears throat> Let's start with it. Right. Say it again. Barber. Barber. That's great. Okay, Millie, this is the Baxter house. Well, listen, do I have to get up early like this every morning? Of course you do. You want to be a milkman? People want their milk early in the morning. First thing, give them their milk. Oh, Here well, you go. Yeah, yeah, sure, you're right. So, well, 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 what do I do next? Well, you have to find out just how much milk they want. Well, how, oh, sure, that's easy. Hey, you guys! Just be quiet. Now, you don't want to yell. It's 4.30 in the morning. You can't holler like that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Right. Well, look, if you can't ask them because they're sleeping, how are you going to know how much milk to leave? The Baxters always leave a note. Oh, I see. Now, yeah. I want you to try this one by yourself. Just read the note and do what it says. You I'm going to watch got it. Got it. Go okay. Ahead. Milk man. Uh-huh. Leave one bu of milk. Right. Well, I don't get that. Well, this is the kind of problem you run into, you no see. No kidding. That's right. You see, there's a piece of paper that's torn off a part of the note. Right. Now, you have to find out what the missing word is. Oh. Oh, well, that's easy. Hey, you guys! It's 4.30 in the morning. 
It wakes people up. All right, yeah. sorry. So, so now what, what do we do? Well, you got to figure out the missing word from the rest of the note. Great. All right. Go ahead. How do I do that? Well, first of all, you know that the word begins with the letter B, so that the note says leave one something that begins with B of B. milk. Right. Now, what begins with B that they want you to leave one of inside? Uh, banana? I'll go get one on the truck. Millie. First of all, we don't deliver bananas, and besides, it doesn't make any sense to leave one banana of milk. I think it should be something that you could deliver milk in. Now, you want to think about that. See, you want to think about it. It says, milkman, leave one ba of milk. All right, well, wait a minute. Right. Uh, one ba of one milk, ba. something you could deliver milk something in. I've got it. A truck. They want a truck of milk. Righto. Milk? Uh, truck doesn't begin with the letter B. Oh. It's got to be a word that begins with a B, you see, a with a B. Right in there. Yeah, yeah. B. B. All right. B. 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 Right. B. Basket, that's it. Basket. They want a basket, basket of milk. Basket was close. Basket, basket was, was close, close, but, that's but a not basket it. has holes in it, you see, and the milk would leak all over the place. Right. Now, they do not want a basket of milk. Um, what do they want, then? Right. I'll find out. Right. Hey, you guys! Millie, you got to be quiet now. It says, milkman. Yeah. Milk. Man, leave one buh. 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 Blend them, blend buh. them. Bag of milk. Bag, bag of milk. That was really close. Oh, it you was? Were right. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, all right. It <laughs> we, don't, we don't have any bags. Blundanga. No, we don't blend have bag. bags. Blend them, blend. Right. All right. We don't. Yeah. We'll try it again. And right. listen, while you're at it, you better order some uh, some uh, bags because we're out of bananas too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on now, leave one. Buh. 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 Listen, listen. We are look. We are never going to figure out what they want. They don't uh -huh. want a basket of milk. They don't want a bag of milk, and they are asleep. Yeah. So. So we'll leave them a bottle of milk and come back later. Hey, you guys. See you later. <laughs> Is. That's a baseball bat, dear. There you go. B at bat. That's what. Yeah. Da da da. Oh, I know what that is too. I saw one of those. B ag. That's a bag, dear. That's what that is. Oh, is that pretty? Yeah, you know that's b b o bow. That's for your hair or for your feathers. Oh, here yeah, my doggy has one of those. That's b b o wool ball. Blood. Oh, yeah, my doggy has one of those too. That's b o bone. That's a big one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw these at the store. That's b ox box. That's a big box there. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. What's this? b ob Bob. I don't see any Bob. Who is Bob, anyways? Bob. That's Bob. Is. Bob is. Well, so far, so good. Bob is tall. Tall. Bob is tall. So what? Tall isn't everything. Short is pretty good. So is vanilla. Ha <laughs> ha, see? The taller they are, the harder they fall. Hey, oh, here comes somebody. He's gonna write on on that wall. What's he gonna? Bob. That's talking about Bob. Bob is a 
fin K fink bob is a fink that's not nice what is he smiling about that's terrible that's gonna be bob right yeah bob apostrophe s bob's stew Id. Bob's stupid. Oh, that means Bob is stupid. The apostrophe S means Bob is. Bob is stu That's also not nice. Bob, okay, Bob what? Apostrophe S, Bob is. Probably Bob is. Bob's chick and Bob's chicken. That means Bob is chicken. Gee, the oh, terrible. Th Who are you? Why are you writing these terrible things about Bob? Oh, who are you? Who are you? You're Bob. Well, what are you writing those awful things about yourself for? Oh, oh, oh he was going to write something. I stopped him. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's see what that is. Because something's coming now. Bob, right? Yeah. Bob's kid ding. Because Bob's kid, oh, you're, oh, you're, you know, Bob's tricky. a stick-up. I'm a bank rober. Oh, you mean robber. 
No! That's a piece of elastic you hold papers together with. A rubber band. <laughs> you mean rubber. No, that's a dance that's popular in South America. You mean rumba. No! Rumba? That's the sound your tummy makes when you're hungry at rumbas. You mean rumbo. No, that's a kind of a bee, a rumbo bee. You mean bumbo. Bumbo? That's a kind of gum, bumble gum. You make bumbles. Don't you mean bubble? So I do. Other. Bruh. 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 Brother. Okay, brothers and sisters and misses and misters, here's your daddy yo with the sounds to go. No shucking, no jiving. I'm telling you, your music's arriving. Ha ha! What I say? It's Mel Mounds here with our special request game called The Same as Your Name. Name, name. That's right. One of you lucky listeners out there will get a chance to pick the next song. And the name of that song will have a sound that sounds the same as your name. I'll show you just how it works, but first, let's pick the picker. picker, picker I'll picker. spend now a pick of the pack pick picker, which contains the names of all you fans out there who sent in postcards. And we'll just pick out the, na the name of today's lucky winner, and it is... Brenda Bradley. That means today we're going to be working with the BR sound. That's br as found in Brenda Bradley. Okay, now let's call Brenda up on the phone, and here is her number. Okay, Brenda, here's a ding a ling to do your thing. Hello! Brenda Bradley, your name was just picked by our lucky pick picker. Congratulations, Brenda. This and now here's Brenda a... Bradley. You got the wrong number. Okay, Brenda, we're going to show you the names of three songs that have the same sound that's found in your name. That's Brenda Bradley. B R Br Brenda Bradley. And we'll get you three song titles with B R in them, and then you pick the one you want to hear. Okay, Brenda? Now listen. Okay, what? here's the first one now. It is <laughs> Breakfast in. Brazil. Breakfast in Brazil. It's so terrific. Breakfast <laughs> in Brazil. Hey, I like that song. Wonderful, Brenda. And maybe when your cold gets better, you can sing the whole thing for us. I ain't got a cold. Listen, I right am now, not Brenda, Brenda. Here comes number two. It is a romantic ballad called A Broken Bracelet and a Broken Heart. Okay, Brenda, you see those BRs are in there, all right? In broken, in bracelet, and again in broken. Yeah, I say that. Listen, I'm not breaking. You really ought to do something about that cold, Brenda. Okay, here's the last one. Oh, this is a tasty platter. Brown bread. Oh, yeah, that's delicious. Well, Brenda, it's time to pick your pick of the pack. Will it be breakfast in Brazil, a broken bracelet, and a broken heart or brown bread. What do you say, Brenda? Now, look, for the last time, I'm not Brenda. I'm J. Arthur Brank. That's a prank that... We're Make waiting, it... Brenda. Uh, Make it brown bread. Good. Choice, Brenda, and here come the country cousins chewing up a nice fresh mouthful of brown bread.
Brenda Bradley, because for playing the game the same as your name, we're going to send you a platter of brown bread as served up by the country cousins. And thank you again and goodbye. And this is yours truly, Mel Mouth, the man with the sound saying, heavy, 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 yeah, out of sight. Brown, brown, bow, ow. He was so romantic. He'd always come running down the block when he saw me on the stoop, and I'd run out to meet him. I felt just like a girl in a shampoo commercial. It was hard to run that slow. Well, I wonder how they do that. Well... personality like he'd always say to my mother well how's my best girl tonight gee mother loved that I wasn't always so crazy about it well I wonder if Howard's sharing a pizza with somebody else now is he picking up his slice with that extra little slide emotion so that most of the cheese from her slice stretches out and then snaps back onto Howard's slice? Gee, he loved cheese, Howard. <laughs> My own Prince Charming. <coughs> Yick! An ugly frog. Wait, I am really a handsome prince. If you kiss me, you will break the spell. Yick. Mm. <coughs> Hi, 
I'm free. <gasps> my Prince Charming. My beautiful princess. Oh, <laughs> Let us go tell Daddy that we want to marry. Okay. Love of Chain. The drama that asks the question, can a boy from a small chair in a big room find happiness as a busboy at the train station? As our story begins, the boy is standing. The boy is taking a step. Is the boy taking the right step? No, he is taking the left step. Will the boy take a step? Will he look at it? Will he put it back? Can you tell what step he took? And what about Naomi? For the answer to these and other questions... Going my way. Tune in tomorrow for... Love of Chair. And now, the last word. Barber. Company gets its power from the Children's Television Workshop. Naomi Fona, a producer on the show, was immortalized in Love of Chairs. What about Naomi? Hey, what's happening? Buenos dias. I was cast in the electric company in a very simple way. I was called and asked if I would be interested. Children's Television Workshop, in, in my view, was just... You know, they were God. They were so fabulous. They were so... What an innovative company that was and continues to be and when they asked I didn't hesitate to say absolutely the interesting thing is that I was warned against doing it I was advised not to do it by all kinds of show people saying well you know it's the pinky Lee thing they're gonna think that you can't find any work and that's why you're doing a chil a children's show and whenever someone would say that to me I'd say yeah, but have you ever seen Sesame Street well, no. I said, well, you go watch Sesame Street, then tell me I'm wrong. My daughter, Fernanda Luisa, was at the time, um, she was about three years old, perhaps four. She was a very reluctant reader. She was not a child who wanted to look at words at all. She wanted to look at the pictures. And truly, uh, if I recall, one of the objectives, the goals of our show, was to help children like that. It was not aimed at the little geniuses or the brilliant kids. It was aimed at the children who were having a difficult time. And it was something like from four to seven years old. They found out later through tests that the little ones were also watching and learning to read, which was an astonishing discovery. But Fernanda was truly, this is the show that was aimed at someone like Fernanda. I am so proud of my participation in it. And I met two amazing men named Bill Cosby and uh, Morgan Freeman, who to this day are still friends. Are you just a guy I want to see? Good! Now, yesterday you sold my son one of your used cars. Probably did. Yes, you did. Hello. Told him that the brakes work, but well, we found out that they don't. 
You told him that the car was in A1 condition when the defenders fell off this morning. You told him that the engine was in great shape when it fell out of the car this morning. I want to know why this sign says, Honest John, when all them things you're saying ain't true. I lie a lot. Cosby ad-libbed a great deal. And we had cue cards. We had cue cards for everything. And you know, if you if you watch carefully, you can see the eyes while the other person's talking. You know, I'd be doing something like this and scanning <laughs> my responses to this person. And uh, sometimes I worried a little that maybe the lesson was getting a, a little bit lost because he really he was he was having so much fun. Also, Cosby was such a mischievous guy. I mean, everybody was. Everybody was. We really had lots of fun. DR, don't be a drag. Drink dribble cola. And I think it's terrific. What and do you think? I think that this is a drag. I think you're right. Well, what else you got? Move it. Oh, wait till you see this one, DR. You'll throw your hat in the air. Yeah, well, it better be good, or I'll throw your hat in the air, and you'll be in the hat. Okay. All right. Morgan Freeman was and is the coolest man alive. Definitely. Uh, he was. Easy Reader was made for him. I'll never forget when we very first met on the, on the set. He was this long drink of water, elegant man, very elegant. And uh, I think I was one, in one of the very early skits with him. And that's the one where he sings Easy Reader. Easy Reader, that's my name. Mm -mm -mm. He added the uh uh uh. Reading's heavy, reading's tough. Tell him, Carmel. He never seems to uh, get enough. <laughs> like a bloody dream, this guy. He always has. He's just elegant. Um, yeah, that was him, Mr. Elegance. I loved him. You know, people call it cool, I call it elegant. In fact, when I received my uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, it was Morgan who flew out at his own expense to uh, MC the show that was being done in my honor. I mean, that's what a guy. Ooh. What a wonderful guy. The workload on, on the electric company was enormous. We had a big, big room just, just for costumes. And I mean, we had, we had a wonderful wardrobe woman you know, who was ready for anything. We had anything from Godzilla to, uh, to uh, hooker-looking costumes to uh, just anything you can imagine. And we would do many um, segments a day that alone was really very hard work because a lot of the uh, uh, the stuff that we did had special effects, which took forever to set up. I mean, you'd stand there in these hot lights and wait and wait and say, no, no, it's not ready yet. Okay, Rita, your hair is breaking up because we used chroma key a lot. You know, the green screen or the blue screen where you see other things in back of you. It just took forever, and we worked really, really hard. We had to learn, gosh, anywhere from uh, five to eight skits each day, when we finished the long work day, which would be 6 o'clock, and we'd get there about 6.30 in the morning, we would then run over, whoever was going to do a musical number the next day would run over, and usually that was very often me, uh, to a recording studio, pre-record the stuff, then go home with your tape and try to learn, you know, uh, to practice the lip sync so it wouldn't look like you were uh, singing to a uh, pre-record. It was such a hard, hard job. What saved us from going completely mad was that it was so much fun to do. And 
because we worked so hard and because we had to be so careful about sexual innuendo and stuff that was, you know, really wrong and appropriate for the show, uh, we were very naughty outside of the show itself. We were very rowdy. We were a rowdy bunch. We were like children. We were just very naughty children. I had so much fun. We had not only to be amusing, because the whole idea is to engage the children. We had to be amusing, but we had to teach the lesson as well. That was, you know, primary. That's why we were there. You were trying to help children to learn to read, to sound out, and all that kind of stuff. So the, the educational part of it was very, very, we took that very, very seriously. I think that what's missing from children's television is the electric company. I really do. And shows, you know, thank goodness there, there is still a Sesame Street. I think Joan Gans Cooney, who put all of this together, um, really went into that kind of work, education work, with a lot of knowledge and a lot of passion. But what was, I think what was so special about it, too, is that it had a very, very talented cast of performers. I won't say just actors, because we also performed, we sang, we danced, we did everything. It was vaudeville. It was vaudeville with a difference. That's really what it was. It was slapstick. Uh, the important thing was to engage the child's attention and then sneak the lesson in. And, she, and, and I have to say she did it because she's the one, really, who was responsible for this. She was responsible for um, finding the right people. That's, that, I think, is the, the zenith of being a really good producer, to find the right people to do the work. I can tell you there's a lot of blather out there. It's very sad. Because you can entertain children, you can make them laugh, and you can teach them all kinds of things. Okay, Millie, this is the Baxter house. Now listen, do I have to get up early like this every morning? Of course you do. You want to be a milkman? People want their milk early in the morning. First thing, give them their milk. Oh, Here well, you go. Yeah, yeah, sure, you're right. So well, 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 what do I do next? Well, you have to find out just how much milk they want. Well, how, oh, sure, that's easy. Oh, every once in a while, I'll come, go into a restaurant, I'll, like recently, I passed the bar on the way into the dining room of a very fancy restaurant, and this perfectly grown-up person with gray at the temples says, Hey, you guys! Isn't that amazing? Hey, you guys! Just be quiet. Go ahead. Go on. Well, I need it now. <laughs> From bluebells to bluebells. Oh, now, now that, that's what I want. Thanks Praise so much. Praise heaven. Oh, what a relief. I thought I'd never Praise sell heaven. another flower Praise again as long as I live. I'm so Listen, happy. Listen, since I'm here, oh, God. <laughs> since I'm here, how about uh, some flowers from a girl? Oh, well, gee, I'm sorry. I'm all sold out now. Do you have any bluebells? No. Do you have any blushing violets? Uh-uh. You don't have any blooming things? All gone. Well, I know what. What? I'll get her a Tampax. <laughs> <laughs> Where's... <laughs> Oh my golly, that Nancy and Slug Oak just kill me. Oh, Arnie. Oh, oh Arnie, I've just had a terrible experience. You just broke the entire <laughs> Ooh, Winnie's dog. Four Hortense. was a surprise for your <laughs>
must not smoke in this shop. <laughs> are you listening to right now? Oh, a great sound. You want to hear it? Oh, why not? <laughs> All right, now. This sound is called garbage can falling downstairs. Uh-huh. Sky.